we feel that through the music, through musical experiences, whether it be live, which would probably be preferable because of the volume and the, the intensity you could generate, we're actually trying to release something within within the listener. I think it works on some of the tracks, you know, but because it's a record, it's slightly dulled. And obviously the intentions never come out quite as you want them and with the intensity that you'd like. But we are, we're trying to put people in touch with something of their subconscious and show something of our subconscious in the raw state. That's why there's a, quite a lot of nonsense on the album, but we think it's it's valuable nonsense. Some of the most important things ever written. Uh, it's just we felt it was in keeping with what we were trying to do with scatology, which was what we call neo-surrealism. I mean, it's a pretentious word, but it's the only way to describe it. You know, people can relate to that, maybe. Uh, there's a lot of like dream images which are taken from things we've been involved in and I keep a dream diary so every night every every time I wake up in the morning I actually write down the dreams and then later on go back to it and use it as material for songs where we can and there's I mean all these images are actually images that have reoccurred in the past and so we've just linked them together with some of our favourite things and some of the things we think are relevant. But you always need a reference. It can be a literary one, but it can, for instance, be a film or a dream or whatever. I don't think it always needs a reference. As the songs stand up in themselves, it's just we've tried to, as I said, illuminate or show a contrast to each thing and comment on it in some sort of way. I mean, We've put down technical information, we've put down literary information and quotes which illuminate and strengthen the themes we've taken, like scatology and the fact that we chose that comes from Dali and from Freud and the fact that in psychiatry and imagery, the two gold and shit are interchangeable. We don't have to sort of have an explanation for it because the irrationality of it and the fact that there is probably no explanation is what we're interested in. It's totally irrational, totally off the wall, you know, and sometimes sinister. You know, I like to talk about is the fact that we are totally for the individual, like Psychic TV say. I mean, like, I mean the stuff that was written was co-written you know, by me and Sleazy in the first Psychic TV booklet I'm talking about. You know, the, the individual is incredibly important and uh, every aspect you can, everything that you can do to, to strengthen the individual vision is, in, is terribly important. And I go further, I say that the individual uh, is far more important than the whole and that that's what, the only criticism I want to talk about of psychic TV or any setup like the temple or any, like the OTO, any body of people working together as a whole, I think to some extent there's a blurring of intentions. Like I say, there's colours, and that when you get so many colours together it mixes up into a muddy brown. With coil I want to keep the colours pure, keep the individual things pure. And I, I think the individual vision, whether it's totally off the wall, totally irrelevant, the fact that they've got the strength to to carry it through and be a total person is the valuable point. Mm -hmm. 